Hello everybody, welcome back to Brandon Stars Balfour video with me on the channel, a specialist. And um, today, um, I chose Balfour today because we got some uh, a last minute post on EA Star Wars' page last night about um, further details on uh, tomorrow's uh, Bespin DLC launching tomorrow. And uh, so I skipped that World of Tanks today and we're going to head straight into uh, Balfour. So um, ultimately, I have some uh, more information here on uh, stuff that we've already learned. Um, we now know that the game mode is called Sabotage, and uh, in Sabotage, the, the, Empire, the Empire has deployed several tractor beams on the surface of Cloud City that prevents rebel ships from escaping the planet. In order to power the tractor beams, the Empire, make, the Empire makes use of Tabana gas generators that draw from uh, Tabana gas native to Bespin. So, I think we're going to have to um, keep these, we're supposed to, you know, power up and down these beams, uh, these tractor beams to keep this, uh, Tabana gas generator flowing, so that should be interesting. Um, we got more details here on, uh, the furthermore blasters. So the X-8 sniper, we've already heard about that. Uh, it is a blaster pistol with, uh, decent damage, cool and power range. It stands out due to its enhanced scope with heat vision, capable of revealing humanoids in most weather and times of day. Now, the second blaster, which we haven't seen anything about, but now we do, is the EE-4. It was constructed with a short and stubby barrel to allow it to fire more effectively at a closer range with spread shots. Despite the reduction in accuracy at range, the weapon makes up for it with a greater rate of fire. Uh, we have our first information on our in-game star cards. We saw them in use in the trailer, but we didn't exactly know what they were. So we have the scout binoculars, and they are exactly what they uh, sound like. Uh, powerful binoculars capable of revealing enemy units to the entire team. We saw that trailer with the uh, female uh, rebel taking them out and uh, spotting a bunch of stormtroopers. Um, next up, we have uh, the shot grenade, which we see in use um, right over the um, uh, Han Solo carbonate chamber. And the shot grenade delivers a non-lethal electrical discharge, leaving anyone caught in the field incapable of moving. So I don't think this kills you. It's more of like a stun grenade, where you'll be temporarily, you won't be able to move for like maybe like let's say 15 seconds, which this could be very helpful. And uh, last but not least here, for our best for DLC uh, information today, we have uh, the star card called Disruption. Uh, localized disruption wave that knocks out enemy blasters, turrets, and droids. So this is ultimately an EMP card, if I could um, compare it to uh, any other game the best it can. So uh, yeah, you got an EMP card here that when activated, it will pretty much you know, knock out enemy blasters, turrets, and droids for a certain period of time. And um, uh, obviously all these cards have an upgraded version of them that we, we don't know exactly what it does, but um, uh, you know, I'm, sh I'm sure it'll have like a less core time or more uh, uh, important uh, function. And last but not least, um, I thought there was going to be four maps. There's actually five multiple maps in this DLC. So maybe that's just a uh, answer from DICE when people complain about not having enough content from this game. But needless to say, um, five multiple maps from Bestman launching tomorrow. I will have two videos a day for quite a while. Uh, for Bestman, uh, coverage should start tomorrow just a little after 10 a.m. And then it'll last throughout the day. And then uh, the rest of this week, um, uh, there will be a uh, uh, best in coverage. I would like to live stream this, but the problem is my laptop can't handle live streaming, so I might, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do it off console, but my Twitch thing was having a problem on Xbox, so I'm going to have to configure that and see if I get it to work, and then I'll let you guys know uh, later on the next couple of days if I'm going to be streaming sometime this weekend. And then uh, stay tuned, obviously, guys, uh, after the Best Moon DLC ends this week. Uh, next week is the launch of LEGO Star Wars The Force Weekends Tuesday on the channel, so uh, Star Wars is here to stay. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, that's going to be all for today's video. If you're uh, new to my channel and you want to stay up to date to all the latest Belfort news with the uh, DLC as well as the uh, Best Fun DLC launching tomorrow, uh, stay tuned here on the channel for all things Star Wars. And uh, as always, guys, have a good day, but most importantly, have a special day. See you guys tomorrow with Best Fun.